In 2025, AI rules are splintering the internet, not breaking it, fragmenting it. Think of the late 1990s, when web experiences depended on where you lived and which browser you used. Today, it's the same pattern, but with AI. Let me map it out. In the European Union, privacy and safety lead. Strict data rules, explicit consent and transparency push builders to prove how models are trained and tested. Text and data mining often needs opt-outs and clear notices. Generative systems face tougher watermarking and provenance expectations. Liability is shifting toward providers. Due diligence matters. In the United States, rules are patchy and fast-changing. Federal guidance stresses risk management, watermarking and reporting for powerful models. States add their own privacy laws and AI-specific rules. Copyright battles continue, so companies hedge with clean rooms and licensed data sets. Compliance varies by state. Firms ship different settings for different jurisdictions. Across Asia, strategies diverge even more. China emphasizes content controls, model filing, and security reviews that push localization of data, models, and hosting. Japan leans pro-innovation with broader text and data mining allowances. South Korea focuses on privacy and high assurance sectors. India moves toward data localization and sectoral AI guidelines. One region, many rule books. So what changes on the ground? First, regional products. The same chatbot may use different training data in Europe, a different safety layer in the US, and a different content filter in China. Models fork. Companies maintain EU-only versions with extra auditing. US builds tuned for fair use uncertainty and Asia variants that meet local content rules. Second, regional infrastructure. Clouds spin up compliance zones with local data residency, mandatory audit logs, and sovereign AI stacks. Think separate data pipelines, separate fine-tuning corpora, and separate eval suites to pass local checks. Third, rising costs. Startups spend on lawyers, auditors, and duplicate MLOP stacks instead of features. Large players absorb it, small teams delay launches or pick one region. Innovation slows at the margins. Fourth, region-specific ecosystems. Europe builds markets for audit tools, watermarking, and compliant data sets. The US leans into frontier model tooling and safety benchmarks. Asia grows localized models tuned to language, culture, and policy. If this sounds familiar, it is. In 1999, your browser, connection, and plugins decided what you could do online.